Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to India. That's what it says here. It's no longer the Chola Empire. It is the Empire of India, or what I would probably call it sometimes as the Empire of Greater India. At the fact that it also consists of the other places in the modern borders of part of the Indian subcontinent. So we don't just control India uh, in the modern border sense, we also control in today's parts of, or in fact, all of Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and the Maldives. So, India is one. Oh, and also we control a tiny bit of Nepal thanks to our our friends from the Kalinga Ganga, which sometimes we just simply call Kalingas because I have a habit of that because of ancient Indian history. Don't bother. Um, but um, as we look at it, that one would think is like, hey, you completed the major goal of this series. Does that mean this series is finished? No. It's 11.30, so we got a good um, 300 years of gameplay left. So one would think it feels like we're halfway done now. Depends on how everything could turn out here, especially during peaceful periods. And uh, what else? Um... Oh, here's another reason of why India is united. This man, Periyapalai, which you know him very well, he is the Samrat Chakravatan, which means universal ruler in Sanskrit, I think. That's probably where that term comes from. Samrat is emperor, and the Chakravatan, uh, the Chakra is the wheel, you know, that's their universe view. And I'm sure some of you Western viewers are probably thinking of it of a more theatrical way, thinking that Periapalai is the emperor of the universe. Not quite like that. I mean, if referring just to the Indian subcontinent part of the universe, then yes, but not the whole world or the whole universe. I mean, that's just egotistical thinking. And uh, not only he is the Samurai Chakravartan, but he is also the reincarnation of Ashoka. So yes, he's been acclaimed by many wise men as the next reincarnation of the great Ashoka, the unifier of India. Yes, the same man who united India. And it was just yesterday that it is announced that, that he is indeed the reincarnation of Ashoka. So now he can grant the invasion, especially once per lifetime, which I don't think I have much time for this one, so I wouldn't bother. It's up to my descendants to take up the future invasions wherever we go. And religious liberation wars is just an option, even though we've already had that for our um, Hindu zealot bloodline. So, again, for the reincarnation of the Shoka, it doesn't matter what religion you practice. If you're Hindu, Buddhist, Jain, everything's fine. But as Samrat Chakravartin, you would have to have that bloodline active if you are Hindu, Buddhist, or Jain. If you're anybody else, then all these benefits here, not so much. But they'll still be fine with you for the Ashoka part. So in other words, if you plan on being Taoist, be careful. Or heaven forbid, be of another faith. Which, huh, you would cause a revolt. But under my watch, at least, mostly, I mean, all the vassals like me, but the ones that like me the least is kind of alright, but they're calling me a coward. And the vicious rumors that I'm a known murderer, which doesn't help. You could say, yes, I have done my past sins. I mean, I never had a sin, but I had a few vices, especially cynical. Pariyapalai was a doubter until he united all of India. And then became more zealous along the way. And he could pass away any time due to the fact that he stressed. Doesn't help that there's an ongoing disease epidemic of consumption which started here in the capital right before he was able to get the Ashoka bloodline. 
some the self help tutor is my court chaplain, which interestingly enough, he's a uh, drunk. At least it's not the court guru. And also, if I wanted it to, I could abdicate right now, but I would risk losing some of the good artifacts. So this will not happen under my watch. I've just united India. I became the reincarnation of Soros, so I would rather be that way for life. Why have I not equipped this book? This is a good book to have for, for trying to study the Empire, so... Again, I'm at peace now. So, where are these other martial books, you know, for personal comfort skill? Here, we don't need this. So, unequip it and put this on. Since we're at peace here. Just like as if Ashoka wanted it. <laughs> Which may have been the first person to be called a Chakravat. Hmm. Oh, yes. That we would need. I guess up for that. Improve the skirmish techniques just like with the melee techniques. to say as much as I've already earned or how much would that cost me okay that'll do up it on two as well as up the religious customs because we just want the Brahmins to respect me more As I said, I may not have long to live. We donate to charity as I'm currently a guru. But I would like to become an archa before I pass away. Because that could possibly prolong my life just a few more years. Or I could die this year. Which will go to my son who is 51 years old. Which means he's not going to have a long reign as much as I have. How long has Padya Palai been reigning? Well, actually, we can't tell because we destroyed the title, but we can tell with the Kingdom of Tamilikan. So he's been reigning since the 27th of May of 1076. Now here we are in February of 11 of 30, which means he's been reigning for a long time. If he makes it up to 1136, that would be 50 years? Something like that. Hmm. Anyways, we destroyed all the Imperial titles, so now this is India. But even though, even though we also owned Kashmir, which means in due time, how much time, we're going to have to wait... 92 years until the Kingdom of Kashmir becomes properly part of the Empire of India instead of the Empire of Tibet, which no longer exists as it's under China's watch. Let's begin with China. Well, I can't send you anything right now as I'm currently in seclusion. That's another problem with this, well, at this time. The enlightened one is in seclusion. And this is for the future generations. After Prantaka, then comes Irajasakara. Look, he's a, he's a smart guy. Not as smart as or wise as I am. And then after that, then comes the younger grandson. Yuraja Sakara, who isn't really a good person except the fact that he's patient, but I believe that Chakravata 
Chakravata, a Charvaka philosophy, easy for me to say, may get him to to a more hedonistic route. And due to the matrilineal marriage of the granddaughter of mine, um, and here's the uh, kinsman, much future heir, who's born attractive. So, I think we will remain Hindu for the next couple of generations before whatever circumstance may take us which may give us an opportunity to convert to Jainism or Buddhism for whatever reason. But as of right now, brotherhood and unity of all peoples has been achieved here in India, and we will not allow anyone from within to destroy that unity, even if it's for some people like you. Which in that case, I'll send you some money. I'm a charitable man. <laughs> so let's get going. As I said before, I may not have long to live because of my stress. And the fact that I'm in seclusion doesn't help it either. Gained a friend with, uh, an attractive holy warrior. Alright, I forgot you still with us. Ever since I left that holy order, the followers of Arjuna, which, by the way, we vassalized on the last episode, which was the one way, the one obstacle that was left to unite all of India. Carly betrothed. got this man who is from the chiefdom of Barakod, which is, oh, up there somewhere, I think. If I remember, place that could not, there you go, that's there, that's where they're from. Seljuks continue to expand. One day, we will invade them. Spend a big on this new hospital structure. Again, I will not abdicate. Won't happen for the man who united India. Old tunnels under the castle. Yeah, let me see. Usually this ends badly, as it happened to the past rulers. Your ambush, huh? Oh, just a lazy old woman. Let's hear what she has to say for herself. Again, for a man who tries to be as virtuous as Ashoka, but I'm not the most virtuous, that would, that honor would go to Prantaka the first, the pious, the Jain Archaya from from many centuries ago. Oh, well, they come in. I get a drink. Huh. Oh, absent. Really minded. Flipping through a book after, oh, after another long day. There's a light tap on my door. Before I can get up, the door is open, and right ahead, um, right ahead on my head, she suddenly crosses the room, slowly unbuttoning her nightdress. Her attentions are plain as day in her smoldering eyes. Well, she's lustful, and she's a gardener too. No, oh, I, I like you, but not like that. Can we just be friends? She looks disappointed and blushes and quickly buttons her clothing. <laughs> Plus, I'm celibate. So, no thank you. I've taken my vow to celibacy. It says it here. 
See? Is it about time to build more structures? Why do you have this? Hope to increase the retinue size in the future. Yeah, excuse me. been ongoing. Nearly two years, so it'll start leaving soon, hopefully. Physician Ranadicha um, has been asking permission to travel to the hospital in Cholo Mandel and study there for a time. We'll need some financing to cover the cost of the journey and for staying at the hospital. Isn't that my court guru slash physician? Yes. And uh, he's incapable. Hey, wait a minute. Then they call you the purifier. No, you're a quick minded scholar and he's a very patient person, but. He's incapable, so, due to his old age. So you could say he's in a coma right now, and, uh, he suggests the... Huh. Well, I'm sure somebody's gonna move him, so... I would say excellent suggestion. Hope you do well in your studies, as he's become shy. Sounds like he probably didn't have a good time there. <laughs> My physician, Ranadicha, came back from his stay at the hospital today. He explained in great detail about the various conditions and ailments and remedies to which to use for them. I did not understand, but when in short, it seems he's learned a great deal. Excellent. Now, he's a renowned physician, despite the fact he's in a coma. I'm sure during his, his stay in the hospital, Chorvandum, like they tell him about this thing, or how do you cure this illness, or how do you, you know, fix his injury and whatnot. And I'm sure he's like, uh, uh, you see, then, uh, you know, what I mean, uh, uh, if you know, uh, uh, again, I'm not doing an imitation of a guru. That's my old man imitation when I do in my other videos, like the Oregon Trail. So, <laughs> he's a renowned physician now, but I don't think he'll be around for long. So, I'm just going to have that notification on so I'll know when he's died, when he's going to die. Whereas I'm 66 years old, and if I don't get rid of that stress soon, charity again. It's all my duty and did it. I like saying that. Keep at it. Oh, oh. But it says, yeah, that's my uh, fat son. Well, he brought her here during that epidemic.
India Army. No, hang on. Let me see here. The adjective would be Indian. They have the adjective is Indian. That's the nationality. It'll register some other time. Really thought about increasing the retinue size in the future. Like one would think is, hey, we got enough of um, of the elephants. So I thought about um, reducing the size of archers and um, elephants so I can get rid of the retinue and I'll make room for something else since we have all this money. Again, I'll have a good one. Yeah, 5,000 archers, 500 elephants. And we're disbanding uh, this, so we're just trimming a bit. And that retinue. Because you know what's something that the Indian army is severely lacking? Heavy cavalry. Most of the heavy cavalry we get is from the other vassals. Such as, you know, well, the Bedouin culture group. I mean, that's where, you know, the, uh, the come archers come from. But isn't... Yeah, yeah. Okay, then never mind. Um, some cultures may have, some may not. But we lack heavy cavalry because... Um, we don't have too many high-leveled stables, so... We are going to create a cavalry retinue. Which will be mostly light cavalry, while some will go for heavy. And they're more expensive than the steel bow infantry retinue. And the monthly cost? Slightly more expensive than the other. But it's the light cavalry that does the job more, so... Give me a bunch of them. Okay, okay, hold on. One and one total. Keep going. Five thousand. There you go. So that way, um, we can have two things going. But of course, it's going to take a while to reinforce in the full force. Not to mention, it costs us a great deal of money, and now a great deal of that monthly funds is going to that way. It's, it's like, yeah, the, the archers and the elephants have, have done their job. Well. Now it's Indian Army. Um, well, we need more cavalry. Cavalry retinue, especially since we're going to be on the offense of in future generations. You'll be stationed over there. Got the money. Hey, is the disease gone? I forgot. No, it ain't. It hasn't left. Silver mine, the target door is gone. That threat level's gone down really fast. Is there anyone that has a much better diplomacy? Oh, since you're secluded with us, you're not even doing the damn thing, so. In that case, I'll make the. Maharaja over there to do the work. Since he's not in seclusion, he's up there in his safe place. That'll take 84 months. Matter of fact, wait for that threat level to be zero, then we could start the war again. Oh boy. How can I ever reward you? Almost there. Then I become our child. And you just have a few good years in you. 
But remember, I do not plan on becoming a sannyas. No, I have a purpose here. Give me a mission. Give me something. Well, it looks like my time is coming. Oh, God. He's still incapable. Look, well, he likes me well enough, alright, for being a loyal servant. And, and we're both fish novices. So, yeah, his extensive medical experience. I think it's like you, it's like, yeah, he may be a coma, but I would like to think uh, that, I don't know, somebody tells him of what he knows uh, or whatnot. See so what he thinks. To rid of my ailments, he's ordered me to sleep hanging upside down for a couple of days. It, it will read. Oh, it's me, it's me. I feel like a bat. But it's an excellent symptom treatment. Do not question the guru. It works. It's good for my cough. I just remember something. As I'm becoming Archer, I just remembered. Hey. If any of you not aren't busy, come to the crossing and help me get rid of stress. Just remember. And yes, always invite a lunatic to your private feast. It's for the entertainment. To you. I'll even bring the Grandmaster too, and the wisdom. Just basically anybody that can please me. Yeah. Help me give her the stress. Again, more learning, more fertility if needed. Despite the fact I usually go for celibacy for such things. Plus one health. Well, he was right that it's the flu, but um, he died comatose in bed. Well, he did give me that treatment for the cough, but... Apparently, the worst fear has been realized. Oh god, do I really have to trust this man who is a drunk? But he's a renowned physician. Do not question him. But it's a mild flu. How thoughtful of you. Named it after me. Well, it's a mild illness, so as long as you know what you're doing. You got to turn to the chambers here, followed by an error most found. Its stench seemed to originate from the genre of science. A mixture of cow's dog and herbs from a poultice master. And an uh proceeded to smear it on my chest. I almost wretched. Well, he's making me feel better. Well, he's for the time being. Wonder how's he doing, health-wise. Oh, he's fine. If I live long enough, maybe I'll teach him a virtue or something. 
or maybe teach a virtue to my decadent grandson to tell him that your way is not a good way that life you're going to but however I just noticed he's no longer deceitful he's become honest so at least he's becoming all right the our son had her see is the hell is Oh, Sunni heresy. Your son is a, or Abel Hawk is a Sanchristic uh, religion related to Yazidism. Uh, Your son is see the religion as the true form of Islam and considers the most to have fallen from the true faith and as heretics, rejecting the final revelation. The religion denies the existence of heaven and hell and believes that men are reincarnated upon death. Unlike other Muslims, they practice uh, monogamy and are quite open to marry non-believers. Oh, sounds interesting. But remember, this is part of the Christian Immersion Mod, which isn't just for, you know, hands play through for Christian movies, but they added a few things for Islam and uh, to us lesser extent, us Easterners. What the heck is that? Oh, vassalization war. Somehow you're declared independent, but um, it seems they're putting you back in. It's all right. The Imperial Academy over there somewhere is gone. I was about to say, is the Republic gone? Oh, it's reduced to a republic, not merchant republic. There is no merchant republic anymore. Not talking about the usual suspects, but there is no Islamic merchant republic anymore. It's gone. I was about to say India is indeed united, but temporarily. Best friends with the Chancellor, who's a Kinslayer. Still can't get rid of stress. I believe this flu and the combination of flu and stress may kill me. But I've done all I can. Kingdom of what? Look, I ain't got that long to live. You know what? Screw it! I'm usually doing this a good pet, but I'm just gonna say screw it. It should be mine. Start planning the theft of the jeweled dunder. In which I'm still content, so it's fine. And you want me to focus theology? Well, I tried all I can to give it a stress, so I will switch back to theology. It's for the health reasons, and um, as I said, maybe I'll live up to my 70s. But what I'm about to do is a bit immoral, and I may or may not get punished. As I will become honest about this. No, I was never honest before, so... There, got that little piece of county back. Having decided that the relic would be much better safeguard in my own hands, now I must tackle the task of how to liberate it from the confines of the monastery. I could think of a few different paths to take. Look, I have a huge amount of money for this treasury, so I'm going to bribe the abbot. And I don't want to grab it and run because I'm one-legged. They're going to catch me. All that money, gone. But we'll get it back soon enough. Just be patient with it. My plan went flawlessly. Not a single soul saw or heard me during the night, 
and it was not I or Daybreak that the theft was discarded, and nobody suspected it was I. That particular artifact has been appeared several times, where it's like, yeah, we're a patron of the relic, we celebrate this thing. Now, it's in the hands of the Indian Emperor, of the Enlightened One. Okay, where is it? Got to scope through all these artifacts and whatnot. And now I got to eventually do something with that thing. Here it is. Part of the scepter. Adanda is a scepter by which Krishna steers his herd of cows. It is the handle of the chantry, or royal umbrella. It is the foremost symbol of kingship. This particular danda is unusually ancient and elaborate. More tax modifier and of precision a bit of diplomacy. That is why we wanted that. By we, I mean me. But I ain't going to tell anybody despite how honest I could be. <laughs> it's in safe hands now. If only we have the two for the Buddha as well. <laughs> Seljuk Empire. Not just Seljuk, but it's no longer a cognate. It's an empire. Is that right? Oh, wait a minute. It's always been Seljuk Empire, not Persian Empire. Oh, wait a second, I just realized, why is it called that? His culture's changed. They were Persians, now they're Volta. Which, if they wanted to, they can raid infidel neighbors for loot. Potter's Persian. Maybe that cultural change happened when he was at the uh, academy of sorts, unless, unless they were raised like that. And now... They wear that type of clothing. And that man is a Bedouin. I think I got the impression that this is not just a Persian Empire, but it's a multicultural empire. Much like us. But the ruling dynasty is Tamu. Oh, well, wait a minute, I don't have the money to spend anymore. <laughs> Gotta please the masses, even though it's not really the best. I will just say that um, I'm doing it for the people. Brotherhood and unity of all peoples. That is something that the Samrat Chakravartin should be, and what future rulers of India should be, all the way into modern India. Believe in brotherhood and unity. But the reason for that is not against me, but uh, that's because one of you guys have done some wrongdoing. You've done pissed somebody off over there. That's under your jurisdiction to handle it. Now I can resume construction as long as they don't make me spend any more money. We'll get our money through the... Wait a minute, how much is for trade contract? 2000 Jeez. Maybe I should send Kama Sutra to the 
Oh, that's not much. Uh, what did he want? Mannequins? No. I got no mannequins around here. I ain't gonna extort subjects either. Just be patient with it. I could teach a virtue to my son. Not a close relative, so. Listen, I know you're not a. Well, you're half and half of a good person, but let me teach you a virtue of how to be a better person, in which you will be humble. Because you will be a future ruler after this old man passes away. The, the old fat son of mine. Kaboom! We got all that money thanks to the silkworm farm. Yep, I'm a great grandfather. Oh, that, that would be great in two ways. How many people have I killed? Fifty-three. How does that compare? Want to kill this? Yep, I beat the record of the mad Brahmin Samarat. Well, now I've killed way more. Mostly they died in the dungeons, for the most part. Well, to be fair, Ashoka, the Furious, as he was then called before he became a Buddhist, was a killer himself. But, as far as I'm concerned... Oh, wait a minute. Is it time for my treatment? Why, yes it is. Where is the successful treatment part? Oh no, it's over there. It, it moves that way. Oh. The only difference between me and Ashoka is, is the fact that I am a Hindu and I'm not as virtuous as I'm trying to pick up more virtuous traits as time goes along. And uh, where is it? Oh, and a Chan philosophy? That is a Buddhist philosophy. So, you could say I'm a bit of a hybrid. All better. And I'm a hybrid of a Hindu and a Buddhist, in a way. Just a few more years, and then the threat level will be zero. Once it's zero, which I said I will not invade under my watch, maybe Parantaka will, if he's alive by then. And then the grandson could be the one to finish the job. Son? I mean, <clears throat> grandson, I taught you to be humble. And look what the Chavaka philosophy took you. You become a hedonist. He's chosen a life of debauchery and sin. In which I could say, good! Maybe good for you, because that's plus 25 fertility. You two are have more children, despite the fact you're related to one another. You're cousins. Okay, is it possible? Or is that up to the guru, court guru? No, I can't give him spiritual guidance, because he doesn't have a sin. That's a lifestyle trait, not a sin. But you can get rid of it if you're a Buddhist. The world will not weigh me down anymore. I have a new spring in my step, join my heart and smile on my face. Life isn't too bad. I'm no longer stressed. Great. Excellent. But remember, if I outlive my son, then it's my grandson is to take over, which at least he'll have a good couple of years in him. But he's not as skilled 
as my son and everything, but he's more diplomatic. Not to mention, he's more diplomatic now, now that he is a, is a debauch. Spoke too soon. He died of stress. So now Rajasakara is the heir to the throne, in which he holds a weapon, which I gave it to him as a gift. So I outlived my son due to my lifestyle and a fountain of youth, which I drank many times. Which I don't think it's time yet, is it? Nope, you got to wait three years. Takura Varanasi. Oh, hell. Well, you two better have children soon, but you're both homosexuals. Oh, that's worse. Hey, let's see if we can... I was about to say, take this guy out. But I don't have high enough intrigue to make it happen because I'm too honest and too good then. Because uh, the last thing I would want is a piece of land ceded to China. Oh, well, you two better have children or there's going to be hell to pay. Like possibly revoke one of your titles, which I cannot do that because that would be at the behest of him and through him. That would be a stupid move because, uh, you know, it's like, yeah, we can jail him easy and. If we can execute him or some way. I mean, that'd be the easiest thing in the world, but I ain't intriguing enough. Intriguing enough? <laughs> Fuck, I fear of possible scenarios like that. And him being chased doesn't help either. Might as well start giving him concubines. Another homosexual chase. Oh, I got it. Yeah, have her. No interest? No interest, no interest, no interest. Homosexuality can be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Well, let's just hope it resolves. Unless he's done something stupid in which the Raja Kashi uh, can help. Oh, and just before I die, just in case, get an ascetic. You know, just to have him around. Shakti is there. Wise man. I can make you a new philosophical tutor. No, we already have one. And he's a drunk. myself in prayer and meditation. Just a little bit more karma these days. Well, I'm about to be 70, which is quite a milestone. But remember, should I pass, now I'm 70 years old. Let's take a minute. If Rajasakara dies, then it's going to be her to take over. And, then, uh, and after that, their children. The grand great grandchildren. I am Guru.
Charity it is. That means I get to pick up a virtue. What in tyranny? Should he lose the tyranny war, which he might, because he doesn't have very much of troops. Like, should he lose, and then, um, and it will be abdicate to this boy who's born hunchback, which, yep. I become kind. That you can handle. <laughs> My daughter died of consumption. Shoot. Depressed and had consumption. I am not going to abdicate for nobody. I just want to rule as long as possible. Such is the greatness. Is this better be independence? Nope. It's increased council power. Blast! If this was independence war, I would most definitely support it. Like if I could help them in any way. That would have been grand if this was independence war, where I would definitely help them out. Because, you know, wanted to break the back of the Chinese Empire. As we had done before in Kashmir. Two major empires and a revolt. Now I'm getting sick again. Well, I think perhaps this is the time for me to go. To remedy my vomiting, you rubbed a lovely sentinel on my, on every sermon of my court. It's not your fault, they are filthy, my lord. Remember, he's a drunk. I had a court physician who was in a coma. Now I have this court physician who is a drunk. Food poisoning. This may definitely get me. Severe illness. If I don't get cured now, then that's the end of me. Both my son and daughter are dead. Now it's just, um, their grandchildren to lead. It's too bad I don't have the time to give you another virtue. To give him my regards. Look, if this may kill me, so try something new. He handed me a plate of gray powdery substance on it. Um, substance on it. Apparently, it was consisted of ground up scabs from a person in a worse state than me. He showed no indication of joking as he told me to lead in and inhale as much as I could through my nose. I feel amazing. Better damn well better be. If I survive food poisoning, then 
I would say I got another good possibly five years. I mean, Peran Tonga the first lived up to 75, thus making it the eldest ruler of the Chola dynasty's history. Well, to be fair, he abdicated to be a Jain Archa and, uh, and a famous story, just like the, uh, with the Indian version of the Trojan War that occurred. Crusade for Egypt. That Egypt, or is it this Egypt? Who are they up against exactly? That part of Egypt. Now I got the two Crusader Kingdoms of Egypt and the Philistia, which is the Greek name of Jerusalem. Or Palestine, if you will, because of the Greek name there. Just in case if he somehow dies, let me teach her a virtue and assign you a a drunken philosophical tutor. So hopefully you'll be a better woman as she became temperate. Good. I like temperance in women. Take it a bit of time, just give it a minute. There you go. Took a little while longer than usual. I mean, to be honest, just a lot of things are happening. Oh no, I don't trust that. Time to pick up another virtue. Give me another holy aesthetic while you're at it. Now, I am patient. Sanusini. Very old. Pajayaditya. Grandchildren being grandchildren. That's all I could tell. That's why they call me the older statesman. The old war veteran. I think it's about time to spend money for for here. Just to increase the levy size more. Just to show the power of the United Empire of India. Up more on the disease resistance. Almost gone. I don't know if I'll live long enough to see the uh, threat level to be zero.
That's if the food poison goes away, but I don't think it will at this current age. If I do survive food poisoning, then, um, looks like we will have to launch an invasion after all. That's only if the smoke clears for that ongoing revolt over there. Smoke clears. It's not every day where you see two of the biggest empires besides you. You have a, um, and then you got, you know, there's two ongoing revolts. While here in India, it's in peace, at least mostly, except for feudal vassals fighting one another for whatever reason. But entirely empires largely at peace. Peace is the way, and the way is the peace. <laughs> The drunk is finally dead. Now we bring on this old guy. Which would you like to be the new um, philosophical tutor? Didn't finish your tutorship. Tutorship, is that even a word? Ah, Lord Master, sometimes you can't think straight. Food poisoning is gone. Maybe I could finally die a natural death. Whenever that time comes. Because we just want that man to pass away peacefully. Sure, he was never a brawny man by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, she got stressed. That ain't good. Oh, going for more prayer and meditation? Man. You just don't know when to stop, do you? Actually, so what if Varanasi gets ceded to China? I mean, it, it, when time passes, it's going to become independent and then uh, get it back. Easily. Not by war, just just when it becomes independent itself, then the vassals move in and take it. No need to cry over spilled milk. It's finished. Get to do so. Build a fountains. And when is this gonna? Oh, it's not even halfway done. There's only four archers. Use the current. man is the Avakaz, is a priest, has a Brahmin, whereas I'm not a Brahmin. It's like as good as you can be, you, won't, you cannot be the leader of society. The old war veteran is dead. 
helped us out during the war against China. Yeah, all the old... The really? Okay. I didn't give him that nickname. Someone probably did. Oh, drank the fountain of youth. I'm two years younger again as I'm 70 years old again. Yeah, let's just speed it up a bit. Hey, is there a way I can... Ah, uh, dang it. I was about to say, she done nothing wrong. She's a good person. I don't know what made her stray to that way. Oh my goodness. That man must be punished. For once, we're going to burn that man at stake. He's done far too much. done. It'll take 12 months to go. Okay, November of next year then. No need to name it after yourself. At least have a slightly similar name. My 70 year old self, uh, India is indeed at peace. No more tension towards the Empire, despite the known murder trait. Need you to talk to the church. Oh, meanwhile, he continues his hedonistic lifestyle. Give me another aesthetic. And just in time. It seems they never led me to a secluded meditation of any kind. Much younger, Sanesini. Not to mention attractive. Hell, why can't I make you a conversation? You seem wise enough. At least somebody is not a competent and a drunk. Can I really make you? Yes, can. Because it has to be a problem. See? We're not the vision, theologian, and this and that and the other, all that learning. So she's the most competent that you'll ever find. At least somebody who's not a drunk or some other profession. That sort of thing. Nonsense. This brilliant work in the world needs to Yeah, this may... I'm diligent. I am about as virtuous as the Jain Archer has the past. Well, I'm probably the most virtuous Hindu that has ever lived. I cannot believe that you went against my wishes. Oh, Avana writes to me. The poems were far from finished. Now I see where my metaphors could use work. I've been humiliated. I cannot fault the man for seizing an opportunity. She will understand in time. Sorry, it's just for more diplomacy. I just want to be liked. That is a Hindu philosophy there, so... Oh boy. Oh, what is this? They became independent. The revolt is done. Some of the Persians have become independent now. 
My body may be sapless and infirm, but my mind is as healthy as ever. Who are you? Oh, of course. So the frailty of old age has finally caught up to me. I don't have long. And a new Imperial Academy has been created in Francia. It's Catholic again, not Orthodox like they have a tendency to be. Can philosophy spread into Oxford. How about that? Just when we had future plans to possibly invade the Seljuk Empire in, um, in, uh, somewhere for future invasion, I guess it would have to be through there, which would be a big, big score. I was thinking Sistan as the uh, first place to invade, but I think Coruscant would be a huge difference maker. Because that would definitely cut off the links to China. Found this finished. One more thing to build. Just poisonous flowers. You know how I have a tendency to assassinate people even if I have low intrigue? Let's increase that. White Pace. Well, you had this revolt war going on. Going back to my old philosophy. <laughs> I just can't make up my mind. But then again, I believe it's... To, I don't know. Not thinking straight mentally. One thing's for certain in that next episode, Hiradjusa Karazun will begin. And this Hedonist is... going to be uh, quite an interesting fellow. He won the war against the outlaws of the marsh. Places to make more money. Really, they're still not done. Yeah, I hear you being possessed don't help. Poison again, the combination of being infirm and food poison, that would definitely kill me. Now I'm vomiting. The, ve the, the, the leeches do nothing. I don't even have a regent. So, pick the chancellor for stability reasons. Another part of it became independent. Uprising. It's that heresy again. Yeah, his empire is crumbling. Yep, it's food poisoning. 
I'm done for. Last chance. Um. Well, I'm out there. I pulled a uh, severed hand from her satchel. The black spots on his finger sent chills down my spine, and I demand to know where she got it from. She only hushed me and proceeded to rub the severed hand against my chest. I feel amazing. <laughs> but again, do not question her. She's wise. Owen. Sonia Sini, she's a good nun. Now, I was able to survive to be 73. But it looks like my time's finally come. Glad I was able to live another decade, but... But now, this, uh... It's gone! Maybe I got a good another you and me. Oh, they're gonna have another child. Alright. I ain't gonna live long enough to be a great, great grandfather. That'd be inconceivable. Yeah, sure, I'll go over there. And finally, secluded meditation, just as I wanted. Simply for the sake of it. I got green fingers. And here's the sannyasi here. 42 years old. Peace be upon ya. Left-handed. That's good for combat skill. That'd be most interesting. I'll figure it out on my own. The wisdom of Vishnu is infinite and indisputable. Praise be Vishnu. See if I'll live long enough to be 74. Yes, 74. Longest reigning ruler ever. The man who united India and made India peaceful. Okay. Just for a while. Poisonous flowers are finished. More than halfway done with that university. That's all the virtues I could pick up because they're not giving me any more. So I guess I am indeed the enlightened one. Vijaya? How many lovers do you have or are you just... I don't know. There's something about you. But you are not going to get a throne. That's going to go to Rajasakara. Who at least knows how to do things. But too bad it's not time for him to teach a virtue yet. Not until two years I could teach him another one, but I doubt I'll live that long. And soon my grandson will inherit a lot of money. That's where 
snogging up on. And China is now under a golden age, which means further up on the economy. See if I can become a poet before I die. And now they want Egypt back. I guess the only thing you're good for is intrigue. Well, I make sure you're putting a large Shiva statue. Now I'm getting sick again as I'm 75 years old. There's no disease around here, it's just, just getting sick, sick and more sick. Sorry, who are you? Macranian Invasion of Persia He is invading the defenseless little satrapy before my passing. Doctor of Law. Hey. Look, I know the threat level is zero, it's just, um... He's become Taoist. It's just, I fear that, um... Look, we're strong enough to take them on. It's just, I kind of want to start off right, like for the next episode that we'll finally launch an invasion. Seljuk Duchy. Ah, oh, because of culture. Them and their different names. What else can we build around here? Actually, we need that artifact vault finally because you know how somebody tries to steal an artifact once so long ago. But we kind of want to prevent that from occurring. And to build the hospital structures if we can. Hopefully there'll be enough so diseases could stop coming here. One would think I should have retired as a sannyasi, but um, look, the setup of it would take a lot of time, and the uh, and we don't want to have any short reigning rulers.
And you want me to go Chavaka? Like my grandson? Well, I guess. Just don't make me do that hedonistic lifestyle stuff. I want no part of it. Fully prosperous now. And a rash is gone. And soon I will teach my grandson virtue again. Great artifact vault. As a matter of fact, we could speed that up. So we make so much money these days, you might as well build fast. Possible that we can. No, we haven't reached that technology yet. The improved keeps to five. Oh, we're almost there, actually. There, now we're up there. Aha! So now you have a magnificent artifact vault. A state of the art vault with multiple gates and champs to make sure the unwanted guests are kept out. In other words, Nobody's going to steal my stuff ever again. Ever. Well, it's finally happened. That was his last command to nobody steals his stuff ever. Samrat Chakravat in Palai has ascended to heaven at age 76. He died bedridden and infirm. A disturbed person... Peria Palai was known throughout his lands as a raving madman. What? Well, many are cautiously rejoicing, rejoicing at the news of his death. I assume this is probably propaganda written by Jains and Buddhists saying stuff like that. That's not how he should remember. Samarat Chakravat in Peria Palai will be remembered as the man who united India and he became enlightened and, and was able to you know, save the Empire from revolting ever, by any means. He's done too many things for me to, to say about it, because he's appeared in many of those episodes, and today was finally his last. As we will remember, Peria Palai has Samurai Chakravartin, the, the benevolent universal ruler, who rules it ethically and benevolently all across the Indian subcontinent. That's how we will remember him. He was our own Ashoka the Great. And his last real war was against China, which was basically his own Kalinga War. But, um, but at least he renounced violence and all that. Well, what do you mean violence? He still, you know... But still, he was able to be as virtuous as some of his ancestors from many centuries ago. So now, for the next episode, we will be introducing Samrat Chakravatin Ivraja Sakara, who is 36 years old. In possession of fabulous riches, only time will tell if he will make the realm thrive or roost on a gold like a dragon. Long live Samrat Chakravatin Ivraja Sakara. Yeah. So yeah, he's finally gained himself a title. And uh, one thing is for certain that, as we will stop on this episode here, is that 
And in the next episode, it looks like finally he will launch the invasion of the Seljuk Empire because I'm sure what he would want is, is like we shouldn't be just content from our own motherland. We should go west, deal with the empire that would one day rival us, just like how we dealt with the Chinese. West is the direction that we will go. We can imagine the future. Khorasan, Persia, Assyria, Minyan, Tullian, so on. That's for future centuries of what it could look like. That's only if, if things go our way. And we hope you go your way into watching the next episode. Until then, so long for now.